Chapter 6. Fun with give and take. Let's brush up our skills on finding the missing numbers, shall we? Okay, so we have a blank, 76, 86, two blanks, and 116. So what's the sequence here? It's a jump of every 10 numbers, right? So before 76, we should have what? That's right, 66. And after 86 comes 96, then 106, and then 116. Good. So let's do another one. Here we have 400, blank, 350, 325, two blanks, and 250. Here we see a negative jump of 25. So the missing numbers are 375, 300, 275. Pretty simple, huh? Now let's do some more mental math. So here we have two interconnected problems using just three numbers. We have 90 minus 34 equals 56. And 56 plus 34 equals question mark. That's what we need to find out. Let's recollect how we just learned to check our calculation of our answers ourselves. We can apply the same thing over here. When 90 minus 34 equals 56, so we can do it the other way around. 56 plus 34 should equal 90. You got that, right? Okay, great. Let's try one more. Hmm. This looks a little tricky, doesn't it? But it's not as tricky as it looks like. So here we have 76 plus 231 equals question mark. And we have question mark minus 231 equals 76. Let's first add 76 plus 231. So let's add the ones. That's 6 plus 1 equals 7. In the tens, we have 7 plus 3. That equals 10. Write the zero here and carry over the 1. So 1 plus 2 equals 3. Now we can get the answer for this problem without any calculation. When 76 plus 231 equals 307, then we know that 307 minus 231 equals 76, right? That's pretty interesting, isn't it? It's really quick and really easy and fun to do. Okay, so how about some more math problems now? Now let's say two friends wanted to have some fun, and they wanted to have a running race. So John, in the race, took 10 minutes to get to the finish line, and Jack took 13 minutes. Who do you think won the race, and by how many minutes? John won the race because he got there faster than Jack. Let's subtract their respective running durations. That is 13 minus 10 equals 3. So now we know that John won the race by three minutes. Now let's try another one. We have 18 girls and 15 boys who have come for Priya's birthday party. Now how many children do you think are present, including her? So let's add up the number of girls and boys. So that's 18 plus 15. But the question asks, how many children are present, including Priya? So we have to add 1 for Priya. So it's 18 plus 15 plus 1. That's Priya. So let's add up the 1's column. That's 8 plus 5 equals 13 plus 1 equals 14. So let's write down 4 over here and carry over the 1 to the next column. So that's 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3. So now we know that there are a total of 34 children at Priya's party, including Priya herself. 